If you love rye bread and are curious about authentic Finnish flavors, then you're in for a treat. Today I am comparing and tasting five different rye breads from Finland and one bonus one that is baked right here in British Columbia in a bakery close to me. I'll share my thoughts on what makes each one unique, the flavors, textures, and basically what I think about them. Hi, I'm Anneli and I'm here in my kitchen. So let's dive right into tasting and having a look at these Finnish rye breads. I've got all the rye breads laid out in front of me here on the kitchen table. And I've also added already some vegan butter to them. So if anybody is allergic to dairy or doesn't uh, want to eat animal products, um, I use this alternative that we have available here in Canada and it's called Melt. But before I had this, one of my kids was allergic to dairy. I found this book. It's called The Homemade Vegan Pantry and this has the best alternative to butter in here that you can use from uh, ingredients that you can find in your local grocery stores and it tasted so good and with that recipe before I was able to find something in the store I was able to make pulla and all kinds of things that are traditional foods that uh, require some butter in them. So I will put the link to this book because it has a lot of other good pantry recipes in here that I've tried so I really re recommend this book. I'm lucky enough to have an online store that's actually close to me here so what they have done is they put out a neat newsletter and they ask if anybody wants to order fresh finished bread. Say that a few times fast. And then once the delivery is in, you have to pick it up right away at a few, a few different locations that they set up. And I did that. So I ordered a variety of finished breads and I ordered rye and some oat breads. But today it's just going to be about rye bread. And these... Um, I seem to have laid them all out in kind of the lightest in color to the darkest and then the last one is the bakery bread so stay tuned for that one. But I already added my vegan butter with my Finnish voy, what is this called, voy um, butter knife. Voy is butter, that's the only thing I can remember, veitsi, voy veitsi, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called. So this one is called, well, it's from the brand Vasa, Vasan, Tosi ru, Ruki, ru, oh boy, here we go. Tosi ru, Rukkinen, ri, ru, Rukkinen. Halakaistu, oh, you know what, this word on here has like 25 letters on it. Täysy, vä ruis reikä leipä. I said it. Dausuva ruis reika leipa. So they are trying to, in this bread, mimic the old style traditional Finnish bread. Let me pull it out here before I taste it. Because that's exactly what they're doing with this. They're trying to min mimic this flat Finnish bread. And I'll tell you about that in just a sec, why that hole is in the middle. But let's taste it. Well, I really like it. It actually tastes really good. To me, it tastes like a traditional rye bread. It's here, it is make it made in Helsinki, or that's where the company is anyways. So far, I'm not giving them a rating. I'm just telling you how they taste. It's thin enough so it's not too hard and chewy to bite into, but it's got a bit of that soury taste and it's not super dry, but it's dense and it's, um, quite thin So it's easier to bite easy to bite into what I was going to tell you about rye is that it's really good for you It's excellent for um, getting a lot of fiber in it's high fiber and it's rich in uh, B vitamins and it's also rich in minerals and Because of all the fiber it's slower to digest. It's good for your gut health. It's also helps with weight, weight management because of all the um, fiber and it also helps with, um, if you're diabetic, with your glucose control, your blood sugar control, 
because of the high fiber content. All right, let's go for the next one. This one is also, well, this one's from Fatseri. Phaser, if you said it in English and you know, just pronounced it like it's written. Fatseri. Buikula Daosuvarus. Something like color. Anyway, Fatseri is a big brand in Finland. And this one comes in these little shapes that are like oval shapes and they were both of these breads have already been cut in half so they come in these kinds of shapes so you can put them in the toaster it doesn't feel very it feels quite soft actually it is good oh my gosh i'm not going to be able to tell the difference between these breads because this this vegan butter on top tastes like butter to me it's got a bit of saltiness, so it really makes these taste good. This is also thin, easy to bite into. It does have a slight hint of that sour doughy kind of bread, that sour taste that real Finnish rye does have. I like it, I'd eat it. But again, it's not like super dense and firm and dry. <laughs> it's a bit floppier. But if you toast it, it will be crispier. It's really good. These kinds of things brings back so many memories. Um, my parents, my mumo, my grandmother and my mom, they used to make bread and it was the best thing to smell that baked bread and just eating it fresh out of the oven. I, me and my sisters loved it. So this brings back so many memories and, and rye bread, the kind that you get in Finland, you can't get anywhere in the world, like at the store. We would, my mom bought this, I think it was a German kind of a company brand name that she could find at the grocery store. It was a darker rye, but nothing like the rye breads of Finland. But she used to always buy that because that was the closest thing that we could get here. Okay, the next one I have is uh, Ol Olulainen, nyt on parempi, täysy. Varius. See again, I should have looked up what that me word means, but it says 80%, 86% ruista, so 86% rye. So this must be a blend probably of an wheat. Yo, vehna yauho means wheat. So it's just flour and rye. So 86% rye. And these come in the little rounds and they are sliced in half and they are quite thin. Now, nyt on parempi means this is better, or now this is better. It is good. <laughs> Probably less taste, less um, of the traditional rye taste to me. It tastes more like bread-like. Probably because of the extra, the little tiny bit of whole wheat or wheat flour that they have in there. So that's the other thing that traditionally the dense rye breads weren't really made into a sandwich like North American sandwiches are because it's too hard to bite through all that density. So they were perfect for open face sandwiches because they hold up. So you can load it up with all kinds of things and eat it like that. That's, that's how we had a sandwich in Finland growing up and even in Canada. We didn't have the two breads on top of, e like on top of each other with some stuff in the middle. Not because, it's because of the way we grew up eating rye bread that you really didn't want to do that with. The next one I have is another one from the brand Olulainen. And this is called Reisu, Reisu Mies. Tosi ohut tumma. Really dark, really thin and dark basically. And it's true. Look at the thinness of that. They're in rounds, cut already in half. This is darker than all the others so far and it seems like it's thinner mm. and also chewier but it's got a sweetness in it that traditional rye that i remember doesn't but it's really good it's different it almost yeah it's got the sweetness to it and it's thinner but denser so chewier you have to really bite with the, with your teeth to get into this but i guess that's a good thing that it's thin i like that one too but it is it's different. Rye bread is considered a living tradition and the recipe and the leaven, which I'll tell you about in a minute, 
is sometimes passed down for generations. I'll explain what leaven is because I had to look it up. I didn't understand if it was the same as sourdough, so I'm going to read it to you here. Leaven goes by different names. For instance, you may see the term le leaven used interchangeably with sourdough or sourdough starter. In most ways, leaven and sourdough starter are, are the same. Both are made from flour, water, and wild yeast, and both are used to ferment and flavor bread dough. But traditional rye bread is not fermented, but you use a starter, and that's why it has that sour taste to it, like sourdough bread. But the one that is the traditional flat one is um, not raised and doesn't puff up like it, with yeast or if it ferments. There's basically two types of Finnish rye bread that I understand. Limpu, actually I had to look at that because I wasn't sure if I was saying it right. And that is the one that is not made flat as a pancake and it's the one my mom and mummo used to make. And my research says it uh, originated from the Eastern Finland. So I don't know if that's true or not. The ones that we are trying right now are more of the traditional um, Reika leipä. Reika leipä means reika is whole and leipä is bread. So this uh, fifth one here that I have is also from one of the brands, Vaasan, and it's made in these triangular shapes, not triangular, pardon me, rectangular shapes, and it's called just ruispalat. So ruispalat means rye pieces. Täysy varius. I gotta look up that word. I'm sorry I don't have it, but I will put it on the screen because I cannot say it and it's written on a lot of the packages. Ruaka omasta maasta. That means food from your own land. So from Finland. And yes, it is um, from Helsinki. Let's taste it. It is like all the others, thin, dark, and chewy. So it's not bread-like, it's got more bite to it. Tastes like sour um, rye bread. Unlike that only one that I that had the wheat in it, it had a sweeter taste to it. That was the only one that didn't taste similar to these. A lot of countries have rye breads, but rye, the Finnish rye is has a different taste to it. German and the other, kind, other countries' rye is more lighter, and the Finnish rye is darker and more denser. That's what I've noticed and that's what I read when I was doing the research on rye bread. So why is rye so popular in Finland? Well, rye is a grain that is able to grow in the climate of Finland because there's a shorter summer, shorter growing season. So it's one of the grains that grows well there. And it's known to be a poor country, you know, generations ago. So they had to make do what they had with what they had. And rye, I read somewhere, also, is also hardier that it tends to not mold as fast and can last longer. So, what I understood from my research, the reason the reika leipä, the one with the hole, the leipä with the hole, the bread with the hole, has the hole, is when they made it, and this little guy goes on top, when they made this bread, they used to put a pole through the center and hang it to mature in the kitchen rafters along with the pole. And that's what I read. So not sure how true it is, but I have seen some old pictures, vintage, vintage pictures that I saw that that was the case and that's what they did. So that is the tradition and the culture um, of the reika leipä or the Finnish rye bread. So there is a bakery that apparently bought bakery store from another comp uh, family who had the rye bread recipe and the starter and they passed it on to this uh, new owner of the bakery and they continue to make it. They called me up and said they're doing a fresh batch. They do it every few weeks and then they call up all the Finnish people, all the people that are around local that want the rye bread and they keep it frozen and they always have some for sale. So I ordered some. So this is the kind of bread that I, when I go with my sisters to the uh, Lutheran Church has events, or the Scandinavian Center has a sense, uh, events, and some uh, some people bake the traditional foods. So they make the pulla, they make the karjalan piraka, they make the rye bread, and they sell it. And everything sells out super fast. You got to get there early. So I'm going to taste this one now. I've tasted it lots because I've been eating it a lot. 
Mm. This will take me a minute to chew. That's the difference between the homemade kind of rye bread because it is denser and a lot chewier and it's not cut in half. You have to cut your own slice and then cut it in half like I did. See how sturdy that is? There's no way you'd want to eat a double layer of bread of this rye bread and then fillings inside. You'd have this and then put your toppings on top. And that's the way us Finns will eat bread. Finnish rye bread is so beloved by all the Finns that leave the country that is actually apparently sold. I don't remember this, but I know they sell um, sandwiches there. They sell it at the Helsinki airport. So when you're leaving, you can take a loaf with you. I'm not sure if that's true anymore with all the regulations, but it used to be. My mumma, when she flew over from Finland to visit us here, would bring some real Finnish rye bread. I've got so much bread here, and my sisters and I are going to a cabin on Vancouver Island in a few weeks that has a sauna. So we're all bringing Finnish food with us. So I'll bring all the bread. I'm also gonna make some uh, macaroni casserole, macaroni latico, the traditional way but it'll be vegan, but you won't know it. Nobody will know the difference. And I'm gonna bring some Karya Lampiraka, the Karelian pies that I made um, in a previous video that had rice, but this time I'm gonna have potato filling. Then my sisters are gonna bring other um, finished dishes. If you wanna see that video, or if I should make a video about our little trip to the cabin, let me know. And rye is so popular. So another traditional rye dish that I make and is really loved by all Finns is the Karya Lampiraka. So watch this video next because I make it for the first time ever. Have a great week. See you in the next video. Bye.